For those of you who don't know, I just have to acknowledge that it is the anniversary of the earthquake in Haiti. So, um, Greg, I don't recall you saying it. I don't know if you did. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, but, you was in the <clears throat> Okay, but uh, yeah, so, you know, we're, I guess, playing some more compa. Yeah, you know, in tribute, back, yeah, in to tribute to the people and everything. So, all right, now. Mr. Dixon. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I was looking at um, one of the companies. So right now he has about three companies that he's involved with. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the first one is the uh, United Credit Education Services, right? Yes. Now, okay, for people who need their credit, um, I guess, fixed or... Like how how would I go about like say if my credit was not so decent? Okay. How how would I go about fixing or what's the first step I need to take? Well, you gotta um, one pull it and see what's on there, you know, find out what's negative that's um, bringing the score down. Uh -huh. And then you know under the um, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, you have the right to uh, dispute that. Okay, so now. All these, okay, like put it, for example, let's say, um, I don't know, I had an old bill from, say, like a cable company, like 10 years ago or something, right? Yeah. So now, from what I know, they, what they do is like sell debt. Yeah. Right? So, if, doesn't the statute of limitations run out at some point yeah, on these? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely, so how does but, that but they, they use it as leverage to, um, to get you to pay you know um the thing is that a lot of people don't understand these credit bureaus they're for-profit entities these are not like um government entities anything like that right you know right. these are billion dollar companies that are paid by the the creditor the people that are lending the money mm -hmm. right, right you know which is why when you have great credit you know they're the ones you know sending you letters hey you know come get my credit card come you know we, we got card deals for you now because mm -hmm. they see you're, you're a good uh, you're a good borrower but um, it, it doesn't, you have the right to dispute anything that's on there. Some things that shouldn't be on there. You know, eight out of 10 credit reports have errors. Hmm. You know, so it's just a matter of you disputing it. Okay, so you hear that, listeners? The first step is you need to pull your credit. And I believe you are entitled to one free um, report, right? Absolutely. Every year? Absolutely, from each bureau, each bureau. But they have like um, free sites. You know, you can sign up, well not free, you, you can sign up, you know, right. $30 a month and have like, constant access. Constant access? Oh, yeah. okay, I didn't know that. I thought that um, you have to like, you have to write in or something to get? That's if you go straight to the credit bureaus. So you go like straight to TransUnion or Experian, then, you know, they give you once a year for, for free. For those of you who do not know what the three <clears throat> major uh, credit bureaus are, it's TransUnion, Equifax, and um, Experian. Experian. Yeah. Okay. So once I okay, so once you pull the credit because this you, this is what your company does, right? And then you determine, um, you know what's like what's not supposed to be on there. Then what do you do? Well, once we determine what's on there, we dispute it. You know. So what happens is that we're going to um, draft a letter. You know, mm -hmm. and see what's and basically send send that letter in on your behalf um, to the credit bureaus so that you can dispute what's on there. And I mean, let me just say this, because a lot of people don't necessarily understand their rights. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, people ask me all the time, one of the questions I get, well, what if it's really my debt? <laughs> well, you know, my question to that is, what if you're guilty and you get a really good lawyer? True. You know, so okay. you know, uh, that's, it's uh, just really understanding uh, okay. the loopholes in the law in order to uh, get things off your credit. Uh, now, um, like I'm up on my credit quite often, like I'm constantly checking. I got it on my, the app on my phone. And uh, what about those old situations that you took care of, like a um, person that's probably uh, had debt that's stemming five years? But they've paid off the debt, 
but it's still showing as like a, a remark or like an like an inquiry. Like it's still showing up as a, I guess, a late payment. You know. So what 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 can be done in that sense, in that situation? Well, like that? well, the thing is that it's accurate. You know, but okay. it, it it can be removed, and you gotta understand like the whole the whole process. So, mm -hmm. um, if if I'm a creditor and mm -hmm. I have an account that is already cleared and paid, and now that person is disputing that thing with never late, do I really care? I got my money. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I don't have manpower and time to ways to to kind of dispute that. Now it's one thing if I'm owed you know ten thousand dollars, but if I'm already paid, I'm not gonna dispute that. So. Is, you know tips like that and once you dispute it the likelihood of them actually fighting it is is very very small okay, yeah. okay. Oh, so, so so they rarely fight it like once you put up the if they're not owed any money it's just it, because it's time it's, it's manual labor they have to go out and find the file and prove that the debt is actually valid for what they got their money already right, right. You know, so then why are they coming after you well, they they well, he said that's, that's, already, no, no, no. Late. I'm talking about like um, you check your credit and things that were paid maybe like five, six years ago, it still shows up as I guess something negative, you know, bringing your score down. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, so, um, so your company, I could come to you. People could come to you, and you could draft up a letter and you could dispute it for, for us or for the people and. Um, get the credit report looking much better, I guess. Exactly, so basically, let me just uh, give you the process of how it works. Right. You know? mm -hmm. Let's say you go out and get a, a credit card. You get, you know, say you have an American Express mm -hmm. and you don't pay American Express, right? What, what is American Express gonna do? They already have insurance on you. So American Express, yeah, they, they already have an insurance policy in case you default. So when you default, they, get, they have a certain amount of time. When you default, they're getting a check from the insurance company. So then they, they get that check, they cash that check, and what they do, they sell the debt to a third party. Now that third party is the one who's calling you, saying, hey, I have your American Express credit card, you owe us X, Y, and Z. Right? And then, you know, we get nervous, and they're the ones that continue <laughs> to report on the credit. Right, right. So so these, these third party people, um, so I guess they have the right to just put stuff on your credit? No, they don't. The first thing oh. is that the first challenge that we make to them is that prove that there's a valid debt. And if they prove that, the second thing we say will prove that we owe you the money. You know, and the thing is that you don't owe them the money. You owe the American Express the money. And American Express was already compensated. Mm -hmm. so, so it's like double dipping. Exactly. Hmm. But, right. but the thing is that they use a scare tactic and then they start you know, right. making a negotiation. So once you, the thing is that once you agree to whatever terms they have, not technically in a contract. So you say, well, we're gonna give you a deal that you know, you know, five hundred dollars for you know, you owe us three thousand. We'll give you just give us five hundred dollars and we'll go away. Uh -huh. And then people, you know, cut that deal. Now, if you default now, they have something against you. If you don't touch it, then you're fine. But oh, okay. we, we we fight that for you. But a lot of people they just go ahead and make that payment. Hmm. Interesting. All right, listeners, the phone number is 877-760-1422. If you have any questions you want to ask about your credit, um, please give us a call. Well, Mr. Dixon will answer that question. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so now another thing I wanted to ask, um, the whole credit score thing. Yes. How important, because, you know, a lot of people really don't understand that whole FICO, FICO, or whatever, however how you want to call it, FICO? Yeah. Okay. Um exactly why do we even need that <laughs> and how does that you know play a part in when you're trying to say like purchase a home a car or whatever well i mean people want to make sure they're going to get paid back that, that that's that's the end all and then they want to make sure that you're, you're financially ready you know or capable of paying paying them back so um one of the things they the biggest portion of it obviously is your payment history do you pay your bills do you pay them on time right. uh, let's say that you know roughly that equation right there is about 30 percent then how much credit do you actually have so if you're paying your bills on time but you have let's say your limits on your credit cards they total five thousand dollars and you have four thousand nine hundred dollars then you, you know you're, you're at risk um, you know, okay. so that when you apply for that next credit card, they're gonna look at that and go, oh, you know. They, so they like you have that. too much debt. Exactly. So debt credit is good. You know, if you use it right, you should be at about thirty percent. 
If you keep your, your debt limits at 30% and you pay it on time, you see your credit score start to go up. Credit is good. You when, I'm sorry, Kajra. When you say 30%, because um, a lot of people don't understand what exactly that means, as far as like debt to income ratio type of thing, well, is no. that, or is that more like real estate? Well, if you have a credit card, right. you, know, you should not go over $300 of the, of the limit. If your credit card is $1,000, mm -hmm. you shouldn't go over $300. That's, that's okay. what I'm saying. So that, if you take your your, your maximum limit, right, right. It, you know, and you divide that by three, you should not go over that amount at all. If you stay below that amount, you pay your bills on time, you know, we'll clean the back end stuff up and then then you're good. But um, part of what we do is uh, we take off the negative, but then you also have to establish credit. You know, so if um, you don't have any credit, we show you how to do that as well. All right. Now, um, now, if somebody wanted to, uh, I guess, walk in today, like what, you, 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 do you want to share the rates, or how it depends on what, what that, what that person has, or how many letters no, you we, we, draft up? We have, we have. Yeah, different um, packages. Not, I mean, or just sort like of, but I mean, we, we're very simple in that in that regard. You know? Okay. Um, okay. Just to give you a story for, I'll answer the question. But, right, right, right. Um, the first time I got my credit done, I got it. I paid um, three thousand dollars. My goodness! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Whoa! Like, I'm, I'm that's a best. car. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, not a good car, but <laughs> that's but, a good deal. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to check it. No, no, no. I not mean, to, to repair it. To repair it. Oh, to repair it. Yeah, okay. and and um, I did it, and my scores it jumped to like seven hundred for like two months. Wow. And then the stuff came back. Wow. wow. And then, you know, at that, that time, like, you know, guys stop answering their phones. That's frequent. <laughs> you know, so um, with that, we offer very reasonable services. It's, it's a flat rate of $4.99. It covers everything. So, okay. okay. You know, so we, we, we're very economical and we're very strong at what we do. How long is the process? Like, as far as from the time I sign up to, like, how long is it going to take to repair everything? Well, I mean, we work on it for a year. You okay. should see results in 90 days, but you have to do your part. Right. You right. know, so if we send you out letters, the, the letters that we that we send in on your behalf, the um, the borrower has to sign. So if you don't sign, you have to sign those letters and send them out yourself. So we send you the package, and you, you know, it sits on your desk for, you know, four months. You, Right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's not just okay. So you, you have to do, do your part, part too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But if you're serious, like, I mean, how how much is good credit worth, really? You know, you're talking about you're not getting wealthy in this country without a loan. At some point in time, you're gonna need some leverage. Right. You know. Right. So it's, it's extremely important. Okay. Um. Um. What I wanted to ask, like, more about the real estate thing. Okay. So I don't know if you want to um, Oh, yeah, continue. you said you said you, you said you were a real estate investor. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a real estate investor. And, um, you know, also we have the vacation packages we want to talk about. But when you're talking about loans and real estate, I know that that plays like a major part. Um, I know you do commercial. You dabble in residential as well or. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I, I, my partner, he's been like pulling me back into residential. It's, it's, you know, What's wrong with that? No, with that. no, 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 no. It, it is. It is it's, it's, it's a lot of money. But the thing is, like, um, when I started, I was, like, I messed up my credit in college, to be honest with you. That's so, usually when it starts. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> that's when it starts. <laughs> See, that's, that's what's still on me. I'm trying to get off. I've been paid them, but all right, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, they, they usually start you off in college because I remember when, I, you know, that's when they get you, they, you know, have you apply for this credit card, that credit card. You have no idea what credit is at that time. So you go kind of crazy and you don't know, you know, mm. but, um, you know, I guess. Those debts you could not, you know, holler at um, <laughs> and, uh, The funny thing is, like, you know, we're not taught about it, you know, and and I love my mother to death, but we never had the credit conversation, you know. So yeah. I don't feel to, left out either, did I? Okay. No, no. <laughs> yeah, well, that, so I went to college, and I I, I went to, uh, um, you know, I was like, there was a few few, um, I want to say African Americans, black folk there, mm -hmm. and um, we had uh, I got these credit cards, and me and my girlfriend at the time, you know. We went out and, and bought each other Jordans. <laughs> and 
I ran up about three hundred dollars in, in bills, and I called my mom. You know, cause somebody had did the same thing. They called their mother, right? And the mother, um, you know, they, the mother they called their mother. I mean, they paid the credit card off for them. She said, "Yeah, I just called my mother. And she paid it off for me." So oh, I said, "Oh, let me go try this." Yeah, okay, you try that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Didn't work for me. Didn't yeah, work. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 wow. Yeah. So, um, your real estate company is called Angelstone. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Angle. Yeah. It looked like Angel. Sorry, first glance. <laughs> I get that a lot. I get that a lot. <laughs> that a lot. Yeah. See, I'm about to mess up the whole name. <laughs> I, 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 I read Angelstone too. Yeah. See, I <laughs> oh, it's Angle. Anglestone. Anglestone, yes. So how long has the Anglestone um, been? To Since 2005, I incorporated. Okay, That's okay. So, okay. So, so. Yeah. Hmm. Now, all right. Is it possible for me to just get something with no money down? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And not, pl- not pay closing costs and all these fees and this fee and that fee? Like, okay, yeah. I think yeah, we want to... It is. People yeah. don't... People don't like people don't understand that real estate is like anything else. It's it's the same. The, what 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 confuses people is the loan part, the bank. Mm-hmm. That's, that's where it complicates it. But you can give real estate, trade real estate, buy real estate like anything else. Hold hold it right there, cause I see where you want to go with this. We gotta take a break. We gotta take a break, cause people okay. are kind of like, wait, 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 how do I do that? <laughs> uh, yeah. Keep it keep it locked in, people. Keep it locked in. Um, we'll be right back. Wait, before, before. The before. hotline got a shot. Right, yeah. Um, again, the number is 877-760-1422. Um, please call because, you know, I don't know when um, we're going to have <laughs> the knowledge in, in the studio again, but, you know, this is a good time to ask questions. So, again, we'll be right back. We're going to take a quick little uh, musical break. 